Hey everyone. So I wanted to talk about failures and rejections because as you have already seen, like all of my content is about my wins on my YouTube. And I wanted to bring light towards how I have failed in the past and some rejections that I've had. And I think they are also important because I'm here because of those failures. I learned through them. I learned valuable lessons going through those failures and it's a journey it's a process and you need to just trust the process and I wanted to share some of them so here they are some of you already know that I was rejected at Amazon Google and Microsoft I want to talk about Amazon first so the role that I applied to was an associate cloud developer and I passed the self-assessment that you need to take online and then I moved on to the next round. I had my screening and then there was the technical phone interview which I think I bombed because there were some high-level networking questions. It also included like database questions and web questions like how internet and DNS kind of works, some caching questions, some performance based questions for databases, how you can improve performance and how you can do a specific kind of task. So the thing that got me rejected at Amazon was some of the hard networking questions in that interview. And at the end, they decided that they will not be moving forward. But yeah, so I think I did three interviews in total with Amazon for this particular position and I failed the one where networking was involved. So that's why this year I'm focusing to improve my networking skills and I'm taking the Azure Networking Associate certification soon. And if you're not already part of our Discord, Gwen and I have organized a Discord server for Learn to Cloud and we are doing an AZ700 networking challenge where we have a study group, we study together and we take the exam at the end of the month. So go check it out. The link is in the description. But yeah, moving on. So that was my first kind of loss last year. And even though I was rejected, I was really happy because this was the first time I was interviewing for a big company. And even getting my resume shortlisted, I know how happy I was. Like I was talking to Misha, I was talking to Gwen, I'm like, hey, I got an interview at Amazon and they were like really happy too. But yeah, I was just proud that finally, like I have built a resume that gets selected or like I'm capable enough to interview at big tech, right? And I know it's not that important, but that's how I felt then. Like I nailed it. Like this is the last thing that I wanted, right? Uh, even though that's not true anymore because I have some other goals now. Um, but yeah, that's how life goes, right? And the second one I want to talk about is the cloud advocate role at Microsoft. I just did the initial discussion with the hiring manager and I know how badly I wanted it because I want to work with Gwen, right? And yeah, I just they were looking for someone senior and I don't have much advocacy experience and no professional experience. Like I haven't worked in an advocacy or evangelist role before, right? So I think it made sense. They were looking for someone senior. I wouldn't be the fit, right? So yeah, and I think this was their like only role in Toronto area or like GTA area in Canada. So it didn't work out, but yeah, that was my second one. And then, and that shows, so here's a mo really important tip that it, networking helps a lot and it's not always about favors but because I knew Gwen I think it kind of worked out but yeah that was the second one that I wanted to talk about and then comes the Google rejection so I was interviewing for a technical solutions developer role in the platform team at Google Cloud and I went through all six interviews and I knew in my mind that I bombed my coding challenge. So I did have a coding interview that lasted like 25 minutes and I just knew that, okay, this is, it was not tough, but I was just blank when I got the question. I, I wrote some pseudocode. I kind of was trying to solve the problem. I was asking clarifying questions to the interviewer, but in the end I couldn't write 
the program that would solve the given problem. And I knew like I was going to get rejected, even though like my networking interview and like system design kind of went really good. I felt like I did really good. And which brings me to why not only I think it went well, but that's how I got the technical solution specialist role. Because this role at Google doesn't, uh, you don't need to know coding as in general, like you won't code every day, right? So it kind of worked out. Uh, my recruiter stayed in touch with me and they were like, hey, we have a similar role in a similar team, but it doesn't require coding. Would you be interested? And I'm like, sure, let's, let's talk. And we hopped on a call, we talked about how like my other interviews went well and they had a really good feedback and they would love to see me in this role because this one doesn't require same kind of coding experience and same kind of coding skill set. So I would be a good fit. And I was like, okay, what do I have to do? And I had to go through two interviews again, but those were like role related knowledge. They were generic. They were not specific like, okay, this one is a networking interview. This one is database based interviews or system design interview. Um, they were just general generic role related knowledge interview. And then one was with the hiring manager, which was a Googliness interview where they ask you certain leadership questions and see your leadership abilities and how googly you are right so after giving those interviews i received the offer and yeah, i'm working at google but going back i think i learned a lot getting those rejections and failures and i also wanted to include cool unboxing asmr video of me where I open the Nugular hat, which you get after you're hired at Google. I wanted to play the clip now, so it should be... So you should be watching it right now. If not, it's just weird. Okay, I'm just kidding. It should be here now. 